Hi everyone. One of the issues that we found using Google Classroom is this whole idea of using PDFs. Because when you add a PDF to Google Classroom and then expect the parents to then maybe download the PDF um, and print it and then re-upload it, we need to find a better way of doing that. We can still use PDFs, but we need to maybe think of ways of using it better. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and use Google Forms to enhance our PDF that we put onto Google Classroom. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload our Google Form. So in this case, our Google Form is something like this, which is a verbal reasoning test. What we're going to do is use that as our basis in our Google Form. So let's create a quiz assignment let's create a quiz assignment so let's click on quiz assignment so let's put a title in and then you need to give instructions on what you want the students to do so for example okay so let's add our pdf so we're going to add our pdf and we're going to upload it as a file so let's click on file and then i'm going to drag that in let's go to my finder and then let's drag that into here and then we can upload. Okay, so that's going to upload my PDF. There it is. Okay, so we only want the students to view it. We don't want them to do anything else with it. And now we've also got a blank quiz here. So let's open up the blank quiz. Now let's give this a title. So, and then let's click on blank quiz. Okay, now the first thing we need to do is ask what class they're in. So let's do type class and then it might be for a or b and then give it some options there for c okay all right so now we want that as a required question so we want them to answer that we don't want to give an answer key for this now what we're going to do is start adding the questions to that quiz let's open up the pdf so i'm going to click on the pdf that's going to open up another window with my pdf in here is my pdf so this is what the students will be able to see and now let's answer ask these questions we don't need to type out all the questions. Now you can see here there are sections, section one, section two, etc. Now we've got, how many sections we got? We've got six sections. So let's go back to our Google form and let's click on this button here that says section. So we can choose this as section one. And then we want to add a question. So let's add a question. Now this is a simple multiple choice. Now we don't need to type the whole question in here. All we need to say is question one. And then the options are A, B, C, D or E. Okay, so let's go back to this and let's type in those options. A, add option B, add option C, D and E. Okay, now we want to do an answer key. So we want to say which one is the correct answer. So we select the right answer. So let's select that. And don't forget to give it some points. So we want one point for this. Then we can click done. Okay. Now we could say whether it's a required question or not. And then click required. Or we can let them choose whether they want to answer this. So I'm just going to leave this as not required. So if they want to skip it, they can. Then what we can do is duplicate. So we're going to duplicate that. And we're just going to change that to two and then go to answer key and then change the answer for question two untick the other answer and then click done and then you're going to do this for all the questions so question three answer key untick then done and so on and so forth until we finish section one now in section one there are five questions so i just need to do five of these Okay, so that's five questions. So now we need to move on to section two. So we've got section two questions here and we've got five questions in section two. So let's click on this and then we can go and add a new section. All right, so let's put this section two and then we add our new question. And now what we could do is just duplicate this and then drag that under section two, just like that. And then we do the same thing. Now, that's question one from section two, answer key. Just don't forget to change the answer key and so on and so forth. And then once you finish section two, you can create a new section. Let's go to section three. 
duplicate this question and then drag that under section three. And basically you do that until you've done all your questions in your PDF. Now, obviously depending on the PDF will be depending on how big your quiz is. You don't actually need sections in this. If you don't want sections, you could just have it as one long quiz. Now, once you finish your quiz, there's one more important thing that you need to do. You need to identify what student has completed the form. So to do this, you're gonna go up to the cog here and then you're just going to collect the email address. All right, and here it says restrict the users to this domain. So that will be your school domain, okay? You could actually limit them to one response as well so they can only do the quiz once. All right? That's up to you. There are a few other options you can choose here, but it's important that you collect their email address so you know what student has actually submitted their quiz. Then click save and then this quiz is all ready to go for your Google Classroom. So let's go back to Google Classroom. Here is my quiz. All right, now we can assign this. So I'm just gonna assign this into a new topic and type quiz here. And then we're going to assign. Okay, so there's my verbal reasoning quiz. Now let's look at this from a student point of view. Here's my student quiz. So as a student, what you're going to do is you're gonna click on this. You can view assignment. Now as a student, and then you can open the quiz. So that's gonna open up a new tab for the quiz. Now we go back to Google Classroom and now we can open the quiz. Here's my quiz. So now we've got two tabs here, one with a PDF and one with the quiz. So then what we do, we choose our classroom, we say next, and then we start answering the question. So we need to go back and forth to see what the question is. So we look at question one and we make our answer. Let's choose our answer and so on and so forth. Now once they've answered all the questions so let's quickly answer these questions at section one now i didn't finish this quiz earlier let's just go through submit and then what they can do is they can click on view score and they can see how many they've got right and they can also see down here which ones they got right and which ones they got wrong okay so that's how you can take a pdf and do something a little bit more interesting on google classroom Thanks for watching. Please click the like button and please subscribe to this channel for more educational technology videos. Until next time, goodbye.